Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna make Bailey's ice cream using Bailey's flavored extra thick cream from the store. So if you wanna see what it turns out like, stick around. So at Christmas time, I bought some of this from the supermarket and they had like a pouring version and then the extra thick version. It was an offer as you know Christmas was done. They were trying to clear the shelves. So I thought I'd pick some up and make some Bailey's ice cream with it. Now, looking at the ingredients, let me show you what I'm looking at here. Looking at the ingredients, there's just double cream, sugar, Bailey's Irish cream liqueur, and then some emulsifiers and regulators. It smells reasonably strong of Bailey's. It is very, very thick as you'll see in a minute. So let's just get on and make it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all our ingredients out ready. As you can see here, this is the exact tubs that I used, the Bailey's cream. If you wanna pause it here to look at the ingredients again, feel free. If not, what we're gonna do then is put our milk straight into the pan and start to heat that up. Whilst it's heating up, because my milk powder is really bad at dissolving in liquid, if you've seen my videos before, you'll understand what I mean. What I've done is I've added the sugar to the milk powder, giving it a really good mix. Make sure that all the sugar and powder are incorporated together. Then I'm gonna add that into the milk. And actually that milk powder then just dissolves almost instantly, which is amazing. At that point, we're gonna spoon out this super thick Bailey's flavored cream straight into the milk. Keep stirring it until it's all completely emulsified and dissolved. At that point, you're gonna take it off the heat, put it in a container where you're gonna leave it to cool down slightly before storing it in the fridge for three to four hours. After it's completely chilled down, you're gonna take it out of the fridge and something to point out is that there was a really thick layer on top of this. And that indicates one thing, and it's quite high butter fat in this cream here, higher than normal cream in the UK anyway. To boost the flavor, I decided to add in some Baileys. Actually, this is just store's own Irish cream liqueur. It's, it's much cheaper and it's actually better, but hey, who am I to judge? Pour that into your base, give it one final mix, and then you're gonna put it in your machine to churn. My machine took 12 minutes to churn this, but as there's alcohol in it, yours might take just a little bit longer. Once it's completely churned, you're gonna take it out, put it in your tub, pop it in a freezer to completely harden off. This took overnight for me. So we've got our ice cream out of the freezer. Because of alcohol in it, it doesn't go as hard as other ice creams might. So we're gonna get it some scooped up, see what it looks like and see what it tastes like. Scoops as easy as any ice cream would with alcohol in it. Obviously there's an amount of alcohol that you can safely put in ice cream before it just won't churn at all, or it becomes so soft that, you know, it kind of drips off your spoon. But that's different depending on the alcohol content in whatever it is you're using. Bailey's, I don't know what it is. It's, it's pretty low in alcohol, in the teens somewhere. You can probably use I'm going to say somewhere around a 75 ml per litre in a good mix. If you want to add more, then you're going to have to look at decreasing the sugars, which is going to change your solid content of your ice cream. So it's a bit of a balance properly using alcohol in ice cream. It smells like Bailey's, which is great, or Irish cream liqueur, but you know, this is, I'm saying Bailey's because this is Bailey's branded cream. But Irish cream liqueur will work exactly the same. It's the same thing, it's just not a brand. So let's see what it tastes like. First things first, the flavor is excellent. It's really good. It's just enough Irish cream liqueur or Bailey's flavor coming through. It's not overpowering, it's not too strong, it's not too weak, it's just about right. Flavor level is really, really good. It's smooth ice cream, but it has that kind of, it leaves that film. It leaves that film on the spoon, on your tongue. It's that sticky kind of fatty 
taste. Now, some ice creams that you buy out there will do this because they're really high in fat content. But there is a distinct difference between fat content and butter fat. That's where the problem lies. If you have high fat content, you can still get super creamy without this fatty drag on your spoon and your tongue. And that's by making sure that the butter fat isn't too low. And you can do that in various different ways. But this cream being uh, a manufactured cream obviously has a high butter fat percentage in it. It doesn't say anything about it on, on the ingredients and all the backlist. There's no reason they would because they don't say that on normal cream containers. But I would be careful using this. I would be careful using flavored creams for something like ice cream because you don't know what the makeup of it is. Whereas if I go and buy double cream in England, that's what we call heavy cream and things like that. Double cream in England is 50% fat content. Heavy cream in the US is you know somewhere around the 35 to 40%. And in different parts of the world, it's different as well. But if I just went to the store and bought normal double cream, heavy cream, I wouldn't get that problem with butter fat, even up to probably 20, 22% fat content. I've done it many, many times before. You don't. Flavored creams, this is the first time I've used a Bailey's one and it's produced that fatty drag, but I have had it before on other things like clotted cream. Clotted cream ice cream, you go too far with it and it will create this fatty drag. But hey, it was a bit of an experiment. The cream was on offer. I thought, why the bloody hell not? Let's just see what it's like. I'm still gonna eat this and I reckon even with the high butter fat content, it'd be really, really good on something like a brownie or a bit of cake or you know something warm just to help break that flavor of the alcohol down a little bit in your mouth, but really nice ice cream. If you wanna give this a try and you've got some of this flavored cream, go ahead. If not, use normal cream and then add in your Baileys after. Like I said, up to 75 mil of Baileys per liter is probably where I'd start and then start adjusting it from there. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.